Hi everyone, Inat Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today I'm going to show you nine different ways to work with foam stamps on any project that you want. And we're going to start with acrylic paints. Huh? Acrylic paints really work well on all surfaces and of course if you use other types of paints you can stamp on wood, metal, glass, you can stamp on paper, chipboard, canvas with acrylic paints. It's a really easy technique to add any image that you want to any surface. So you apply the gel, the, sorry, you apply the acrylic paint directly to the stamp and then print or stamp any surface that you want. Another cool way is gel printing. So you use a really clean foam stamp and you stamp directly on the gel plate and what happens is that the stamp removes the paint and then you can create really cool patterns on the gel plate and later print on paper. I'm using the ink on my foam stamp to stamp papers that I can later use for other things. So I'm going to use two different stamps to create my pattern on the gel plate and then I'm going to press some white paper against it and then I'll show you the really cool pattern that I made. Look at that. Let's remove the paper and see what we have. Look at that, isn't that cool? And then I can add another layer of yellow paint to that paper that I printed on or stamped on and create another type of print with my foam stamps. So let's take that paper. So it was supposed to be a scrap paper that I just printed with the excess paint on my foam stamps, remember? And now Look at what we'll get. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Next, let's work with some types of inks. Start with archival ink, which is a permanent ink that doesn't react with other mediums. And you can print on many surfaces with it. And the great thing about foam stamps is that they're really forgiving and really flexible. And it's really easy to work with so you don't get any spots that are not printed properly or uh, shapes that are not stamped properly. It's really, really easy to work with. And you see that you have really crisp images. You can also work with distress inks on foam stamps. It's really hard to work with distress inks on regular stamps but they work really well with foam stamps. So I want to show you how that looks. And don't think that foam stamps are bulky. They're really intricate designs. There are many designs that you can find. I will put a link to where you can find many designs of foam stamps. You can also work with dye ink. And the reason that it's a good thing is because dye ink are also the basis of embossing ink. So you can work with embossing powders to create really cool effects with the foam stamps. And you see how easy it is to work with. I really recommend you give it a try. Next, I want to show you a really cool technique with gel medium. This is something that you can't do with regular stamps. And this is why foam stamps are really good for all mixed media projects. And what I'm doing is applying a little bit of gel medium with a brush onto the surface of the foam stamp. And then I'm going to show you a really cool resist technique with sprays. Really like resist techniques. You can make really cool effects with them. So once your stamp is covered with the gel medium, 
you simply stamp the surface. You can do this with the chipboard, with paper, with cardstock. So just stamp the surface. Usually gel medium is transparent, but there's still a little bit of paint left. And then you spray, and once that's dry, the spray doesn't adhere to the gel medium, so you'll see the resist effect and the images look really, really cool. Look at that. I really love this. Next, let's see what we can do with alcohol inks. Yes, you can work with alcohol inks on foam stamps. I'm going to use two colors and apply them directly to the surface of the foam stamp and then stamp. Again, you can do this on any surface like a canvas, chipboard, paper, alcohol inks will also work on metal, on glass, on plastic. So it's a really, really versatile stamp that you can use for many surfaces. If you apply a lot of alcohol ink, then the image will be less crisp. So you can use it a few times and you'll see the difference. You can add more paint or alcohol ink, sorry, and you see the different results that you have. You can also apply distress stain to your stamp. Distress stain is basically a liquid form of distress ink and it is it comes with this applicator that you can apply directly to the surface of your foam stamp and then stamp again almost any surface that you want. This distress stain reacts with water, so it won't work on surfaces like metal or plastic or glass, but it will work perfectly on paper and all kinds of other paper surfaces. And the really cool thing that you can do with foam stamps is work with stain, with sorry, with pastes, ink gold paste, metallic paste, any type of brand will work. You simply take the metallic paste or the gold paste, apply it with your finger, and then you'll get that beautiful shimmer with the stamping image. It looks really, really beautiful, really cool. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So you see that foam stamps are really easy to work with. You can work with lots and lots of materials on them. I really hope you like this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything and you'll be able to follow all the tutorials and make all the projects. You can find many designs of foam stamps on artfoamies.com. I'm going to add the link to the description under the video so you can go ahead and check that out. You have lots of stamps there, including my own designs. And I want to thank everyone for joining me, and I will see you next time.